you team of Maori, you team of football. We're a Maori team, we're a rugby team. It's got a, a massive history. And this team is all about upholding the legacy and the mana of the team. Our environment is unique. Our environment sets success. It oozes success. If we do our tikanga right, magic happens. It's just that wairua, you know, you can feel it. Willie Walker puts the kick in field. It's Woo! another try. We go here. There's always a personal determination to try and get on top of my opposition. That was the natural challenge that <laughs> came to my blood. They're always acknowledging those that paved the way for the present group to aspire to and to reach the, the lofty heights that those people were able to play at. Gatsai! Charlie Gatsai, the captain! Dan Pryor wins the game! I always used to think of the Māori team as a opatau. We're a war party and we're going to do battle. It's in our blood. We're warriors. We come from a line of warriors. If we prepare well, we can beat any team in the world. And the Māori have a famous victory. They've come so close so often, but tonight they have done it. You can actually look at each member in the team and know that you fuck up, up, up back to each other. The whole connected by blood is so different. I can be myself. I raised up there right beside the All Black jersey. I played for my people, I played for my country, and I think it's a great honour. Every time I put on this jersey, I'm not only representing myself, my hapu, my iwi, I'm representing all Māori, not only in New Zealand, but all across the world. The winds of time will never blow the sands into there to fill it, because it's just too deep. To lead a team like this, it's something I don't take for granted, eh? It's just time to unleash and let it all flow. Yeah. That's not Trotsky. Miss me, miss me. Carry. Yeah, boy. Being a young Māori boy growing up, going through Kura Kaupapa, fully immersed in Te Ao Māori. Yeah, yeah. Being able to be in a team where I can be comfortable in my own skin, it's a dream of mine to be able to play for this team. It's a team that I've always wanted to be a part of ever since I started playing rugby. And for me, you know, my people back home, the Māori All Blacks is our All Blacks. When I got named in the Māoris the first time, I, I felt like I had finally made it. It was my Everest, and if I didn't make another rep team or anything like that, it didn't matter. I made the Māori All Blacks and always be grateful that I got to have a chance to be a part of it. The biggest ambition I had when I first started playing rugby was to become a Māori All Black. It came fairly quickly too, so I was really thrilled. That was really my main ambition. Well, my grandfather, Hikatara, was. Uh, who I'm named after, uh, he played for the All Māori All Blacks in 1913. The legacy was there. My first ambition was to be in a Māori All Black. I was brought up in a settlement down in Waititi in Nōngataha. What Māori rugby did for me, it allowed me to go on the field and let the whānau see me play. It was like a dream come true. I think what makes it unique is the fact that the 1888 team, they set a benchmark over 100 games. They challenged any team who wanted a game. And they went over there and they toured for 18 months, played 125 games or something like that. A horrific schedule. The family and the team, probably about 20. So they set a hell of an example for us way back in 1888. So they were before the ABs. You know, then we've got from moving on to there to 1910 when the New Zealand Māori Rugby Union was set up. And from there, our Māori teams have done exceedingly well over the years. I guess in seniority, uh, you'd probably say that the uh, Māori team is the senior team at NZRU. 